Before speaking or starting our unit of surface water, we need to discuss a couple of important terms. The first is infiltration. Infiltration. And the other word is runoff. And both of these terms I hope you remember from uh, last time we spoke about water cycle. Infiltration is merely the process of water entering the ground. I love it when dictionaries and definitions you know, start off the definition like the process of to make it sound so much more complicated. So infiltration is the process of water entering the ground, soaking in, making mud, and you know, so forth. Runoff, on the other hand, is the process of water flowing over the ground. So a um, couple things affect um, runoff. Let me find another color. Um, no, I don't like that one. Let's just go with white. The first uh, characteristic that will have an effect on infiltration and runoff is slope. Let's, uh, let's do this. Sorry, I'm going to change layers here. Um, OK, slope. All right, slope is the angle of the land. So if we have a steep slope, then we are going to have a great deal of runoff. Okay, so the water will slide off of that slope and flow downward that hill a lot faster. And we will have a small, small amount of infiltration because the water won't have time to soak into the ground, which makes sense, right? On the other hand, if we have a shallow, a shallow slope, something like that, then our runoff um, will be much slower and the water will move much slower. Therefore, the water will have more time to soak into the ground. Okay, So here we have a high amount of runoff and not so much infiltration. Here we have a slow amount of runoff and, um, and much more infiltration. All right, So um, slope, that's our first um, characteristics, our first factor. Next, we have uh, vegetation. Vegetation is just plant life. So let's see. Let's make a. Let's make a something like this. Okay. So there's our gradient, and here's our precipitation, right? And so we need to have some vegetation. Vegetation is just plants, All right? So if I have, I have an area with a lot of trees and plant life right all around then the amount of runoff is going to slow down right all this plant life there won't be so much runoff the plants will kind of slow down the water and catch it and allow the water to have more more time to infiltrate so there will be less runoff with a lot of vegetation and i guess i should write that word down um, we'll, be, we'll, put, we'll put it in green because it's green vegetation. Vegetation. Okay, so the amount of vegetation will have a f an effect of infiltration and an effect on runoff. So if there's a lot of plant life, it'll slow down the water and let the water soak into the ground more. Basically that. All right, and the third, the third factor is simply pores. Pores, as you should know, is another term for just holes in the ground, right? Openings and spaces and cracks in the ground. So, of course, if we have a lot of pores and a lot of deep cracks, then there will be a great deal of infiltration. On the other hand, if we have tiny pores and tiny cracks, there'll be far less infiltration. All right, and then on the other hand, if if we have if we have you know very little infiltration because of the small pores, they will increase our runoff. And if 
we have large pores and large cra cracks and the infiltration is great, we'll have just a little bit of runoff. Okay, so our three factors are pores, our vegetation, and finally, whoops, finally, slope. All right, see you on the next one.